Good morning and welcome to those who are viewing at home to this celebration of the Eucharist on Easter Sunday, the resurrection of the Lord at Mary, Mother of the Church. Our hope is to remain connected through prayer. May the Word of God strengthen us in this time. At communion time, everyone is encouraged to make a spiritual communion at home, since it is not possible to physically receive Jesus in Holy Communion. Our celebrant is Father Canapa. He will be assisted by Deacon Sage and Deacon McCarty. Our opening hymn is Jesus Christ is Risen Today. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is a day of glory and rejoicing, for Christ is alive, and because he belongs to us, we are alive. And part of that life comes from the gift of being his forgiven people. So let us humble our hearts and be ready for this precious gift. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, 
not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial claws there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One person speaks in today's gospel, Mary Magdalene. Two days earlier, she was at the foot of the cross, standing with the mother of Jesus and the apostle John. She had lost much, much too much. A beloved friend who was her messianic hope, who had liberated her from the seven demons in her life, who had shown her pure, unconditional love, who was her rabbi teacher, the voice she could trust in the world. Lost. All that is left is a lifeless body, the holiest relic of what once was. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. What next? A person can only take so much. Taken. Lost. How are you doing this Easter morning? Do you normally look forward to seeing family, eating a ham dinner, watching the little children on an Easter egg hunt? For most of us, it's not the normal Easter is it? There's always a portion of the population who experiences this isolation each year, each Easter, 
But this year, the response to the coronavirus pandemic has us advise to stay at home. There may be even some non-Christian American citizens, spiritual people, as well as atheists and religious people, like Jews and Muslims, who are hoping we're doing the Christian thing and not traveling all over, risking the spread of COVID-19 that has killed thousands of people in our country. Today, we're supposed to be celebrating life, not worried about death. Where do the Alleluia's fit in today? This is what the first Easter morning must have felt like. Not hope-filled and joyful, but sad, confused, lost, so much taken away. What next? What more, Lord? Well, guess what? While Mary of Magdala, Simon Peter, and the beloved disciple John are searching for Jesus and searching their minds, their hearts, their memories for clues of where he may be, Jesus has been pursuing them the whole time. And Jesus is pursuing us, you and me, right now. From the time he left the heavens to be born in Bethlehem to the time of his suffering on the cross, we've seen his willingness to lose everything for us. From the time he laid down his life on the cross to the empty tomb, we've seen his willingness to go to the abode of the dead, to hell and back, in pursuit of us. The resurrection tells us He left no stone unturned in his willingness to lose everything to pursue us. We are loved. Even in our isolation this Easter morning, we are not alone. We are pursued in love. That is where our Easter Alleluias are to be found. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have, seen, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life, now and forever. Amen. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Give him glory and praise forever. Oceans of earth, sing glory to God. Praise to the Depths the hymn that tells the wonders.
As we give thanks for the risen Christ living among us, we petition the Father to hear our prayers. For church leaders, may they be fortified by the risen Lord's word working in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all civic authorities, may their decisions and actions be motivated by God's plan for peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel lost, abandoned, excluded, or rejected, may God's love and mercy present in his church, present in his church, lead them home to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are isolated by the public health mandates and quarantines related to COVID-19, may the grace of God's presence among us bring us consolation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those watching this broadcast and for all our loved ones, may the Holy Spirit continue to increase in us the virtues of faith, hope, and love as we build our future together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our personal intentions, especially those written in our book of intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our beloved dead, may they be welcomed by all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of eternal life, you conquered death, so all may have life with you. Hear the prayers of your people and answer them according to your gracious will. We ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is Sing to the Mountains. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, 
we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, 
and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is One Bread, One Body.
let us pray. Look upon your church, O Lord, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's a delight that we have the technology we do uh, to be able to be connected in the ways that we're able Um, Certainly for most people, uh, maybe our senior citizens in particular, remember the importance of Sunday uh, phone calls to stay connected once a week and and long distance um, and how much each minute costs and you kind of watch the time and the cost was down on the weekends, especially on Sundays in a certain time. And, And some of you even remember when your phone numbers were two shorts and a long and party lines Um, We've come a long way to be able to be connected in this way, Um, but we know that um, while technology offers much and this whole effort is an expression of love to be connected with you, and we're grateful for all the thank yous we've received for being able to bring Christ, bring his word, bring this celebration to you from musicians to those with technology to help uh, broadcast and bring this to you. Thank you for your thank yous. Um, And also remember that it is love that lasts forever. Truly, love never fails. And that's what we kind of picked up on those Sunday conversations. That's what I hope you're picking up in this broadcast. And also remember divine love. God himself, Jesus risen from the grave, is holding you in his embrace. We are never alone. And so even if in the emotion of the moment our alleluias can't be sung out loud, but maybe only whispered or even whimpered with tears, as St. John Paul II the Great said, we are an Easter people, and Alleluia is our song. So let that be part of your experience this day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. That Easter day with joy was bright.